What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Good morning. And I uh, hope everybody is ready to kill it like we just did on our CPI strangle. And uh, I hope everybody's ready to kill it on uh, FOMC. So I'm making this video as a quick little CPI update here. Um, because as you see, we just got the best possible short entry. And I don't want anybody to get psyched out by that. I just want to make this uh, telling you guys that, hey, guys, I'm going to be loading my puts. Like straight up, guys. This is the opportunity that I was speaking of. Like straight up. This is uh, more than I could have asked for. I, so I'm in TQQ. Uh, strangles right now. I got the 22 and 21 strangle going, and then I got the 21.5 and 21.5 uh, strangle going. So, like, either way, the call side just printed over 100% on both of those, which guarantees my gain. So, I, the math on, on my strangle is, or on any strangle, excuse me, on any strangles, you need one side to go to 300%, which means it pays for the 100% that the other side went down. It pays for the capital of that side, and it pays for this side. So it's 100% on all of your money if you get a 300% gain. I do believe we'll open up with 200 to 300% gains on both of the strangles that I opened yesterday. Um, now, if you do want to get all my trades, all right, guys? I'm going to stop mentioning them. I mean, I'm still going to mention here on YouTube. Uh, I guess they might still be in the Weevil updates too. But if you want to get them on the spot, if you want my entries, all right, and you want the exact trades on the spot every single time, uh, the trades that go along with these updates, Twitter, all right, go, go follow me on Twitter and then go turn on the post notifications. We're not doing Twitter updates over there. We're sticking to Weevil written updates. We got the YouTube video updates and then Twitter is where people can go to get my trades for free. Eventually, they will not be free, but that will be uh, in most likely years to come. But for now, all right, guys, get rich with me. That's that's all I'm saying. Um, and as you see, we had another one work out absolutely perfectly. We were up at 2421, guys. The strike was 22, and the other strike was 21.5. Like, both sides just got, like, I'm, I'm serious, guys. This is a overnight money printer in this bear market. And, like, this is this is what I consider cracking the code. All right? Um but all right, so let's look at the technicals now that we're up here. So we can't look at daily charts because the market hasn't over. I'm trying to get this video out to you before market open because I want you guys to know I'm going to start loading puts immediately. All right. Um, I also will probably take a TQQQ strangle again for FOMC, but I, I will be loading that up tomorrow right before FOMC. We're going to talk about some resistance levels that we could be approaching today. Now, starting off with the VIX. Um, holy crap, guys. Nah. Nah, 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 guys, I'm loading the crap out of my puts. I am loading the living crap out of my puts with what we're seeing right now on Mr. Vix. I'm loading immediately. I'm not taking any chances. There's no waiting. You guys see this. All I wanted to see is us fill this gap fill. I told you guys in yesterday's update that it's possible we come down and maybe come a little lower than this gap fill and then start reversing back up, just like we did last time we broke out of the wedge where you had this little gap up, you came down a little, and then you came back up. All right, now you never filled that gap until we came all the way back down there. But I, uh, well, yeah, you clearly can see we just filled our gap. Um, but all in all, guys, yeah, guys, we, we have gotten a gift from the gods here. Straight up, the market gods have given us the best gift they possibly could have given us. You guys see where we are? We're at 410. Guys, we're above highs. We can short, again, we get a better possible, like a better entry than we did up there. And... What is this? Seven trading sessions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven trading sessions have gone by of theta. All right. Which means even better entries on the time side of things. So not only on the price side of things, but on the time side of things. Our entries are supreme here on the channel, as you can see. All right. Patience really is key. And I think, uh, hey, the people who are saying your boy was going to get a, uh, a wake up call not too long ago when we were up here at the top, literally this day at the top. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think we all know who got the wake up call. Your boy has been killing it over here up and down. All right. And these strangles guys, seriously, these are money printers. It was the whole purpose of them. I only wanted to, uh, I want to develop the strangle skill set just so I can have a money printer on my side that I could use once a month, at least during, uh, this bear market. Now, for all I know, this could, we could have catalyst, uh, forever that produce gains like these, but I don't think this volatility is going to last forever. And that's why I say just in this bear market. So now let's get into the TA and let's look at some resistance levels. All right. to For where we are going to be topping out at. Now, the first one is this 200 MA right here. You know, we'll go top, top to bottom, right? 
And I'm looking at QQQ because SPY uh, is already up here. Now, that's also why I'm going to take my, my uh, positions immediately. SPX is going to open up literally right at its resistance or, well, it's going to open up up here. And I do think that gap is going to be filled relatively quick. I don't think this is going to be a gap and go. And if it is a gap and go, we're only going to go up uh, to these resistance levels. In my personal opinion, this is what the charts are telling me. We're only going to be, we're going to be topping out somewhere in this range right here. All right. You're right here right now. All right. You're right here. You can top out here. This is perfect. You're right here at this trend line, right? All right. But if you go a little further than that, like $3 above the trend line, so the trend line is at 298. If you were to hit it today, 298, like 50, um, the right here, 303. So that's four to $5 away right there. And then your gap fill is uh, at 308. So Worst case scenario, you guys, you get a $10 move that goes against you. That's how I'm looking at it. That's your risk here. All right. Um, that's my risk. You you guys have your own risk that you can define. I don't care. Um, but yeah, when we see this thing open up, you're going to see oscillators up here. And guys, this is exactly what I was saying. Like, hey, this is what we got going on. Something like that. Something like that. And then boom, we get the hammer dropped in us. All right. Now, I do personally think that is going to be the case. Now that we do have the given setup, this is literally a gift given from the market gods. Uh, I'm serious, guys. Anybody who's not taking advantage of this, um, like this clears they set up in front of you. That's that's what I'm here for. That's what this video is for. All right. I'm here to show you guys. Hey, there's nothing to worry about. OK, I understand. You just got proof inflation was coming down. Guess what? Now, pal is going to throw uh, cold water on it. But also, we are going to be playing a TQQ strangle again because volatility is guaranteed coming from FOMC and beyond. And, like, even if that's to the upside, I'm making money off it. All right? Like, say I, I load my puts, and then I also have, like, let's say $5,000 in a TQQQ strangle. Well, okay, worst case scenario, maybe my puts go down $5,000 uh, if we end up rallying hard. But maybe that strangle ends up printing $5,000, too, for me. So, um, you know, like even the worst case scenario is in the worst case scenario. And then we're going to we're not we're not staying up here, guys. All right. I don't care what happens. Um, I don't care what the narrative is um, right now. You're going to see a shift. All right. We're here at these resistance levels. This is just so freaking perfect. And now you see what happened to Mr. Vix. Like this thing. Holy crap. It died. It fell off a cliff. Now we could still keep coming down. Maybe we back test this wedge here. Maybe uh, to, may, like maybe we even take that steep fall. I don't know. Um, because that is some, uh, that's some good stuff. And I told you guys in yesterday's video, we have plenty of rocket fuel behind this move right now because of what was happening with Mr. Vix. This is why I said this was this the probable, probable scenario. Market makers would have had to pay out so, so many puts, dude. We were just rising into that. It was so obvious that like, it's obvious that like, Hey, the chance of them doing this is, uh, it's way higher, you know? <laughs> Um, so that's good. Now they actually had expectations um, pretty low there. I think it was 7.4% compared to last month's 7.7, which that's a pretty big difference that they were betting on. And that's what I was saying. Like they were making it very easy to miss this thing, but they beat it. All right. They beat it. And that's, that's pretty cool. All right. That is pretty cool. Um, it gave us this catalyst we need and it's all narrative shift. I don't guys, I, this is literally the reason I don't listen to news is because of what we just saw. You think I care about like why this thing rose? I mean, like, I know why. I knew why it, like, had the chance of rising. But, like, all in all, no, it got to my levels either way. Not even levels. I don't care about levels. But, like, it followed my TA is what I'm getting at. It followed my TA either way. And, honestly, it does look like, like, we're either going to be topping up here um, and do something like we got going on here, got going on here, where we literally just top. Or you could carve something like that out. And I think this might be... I think that might be a little more probable here. That would allow us to have uh, Mr. Vix's daily oscillators come more down, um, you know, and they could, you know, cool off a bit. Like over here, when we did that, you shot up, came down a bit, and then you started shooting up again. This could be the same exact thing that's playing out, guys. We could have this playing out in front of our eyes right now. Uh, the shoot up, the, the cool off, and then boom, we come back out. Like this is all picture perfect. So anybody who doesn't like really believe that TA works, Guys, just look at my work. It, it literally, you don't have to believe in TA. You just have to like not be closed minded and you can just watch. You don't have to do a single thing. You could just put on the video and watch the video. You can clown on the video all you want during it. As long as at the end of it, you're like fully acknowledging, holy crap. Wow, TA actually works. Like, holy crap, it happened. It ha And it does, it keeps happening, okay? And it's because TA works. 
All right, like I'm I'm sorry for any fundamental traders out there, but you're playing the slow game. All right, because you're always going to find out things way later than me. I knew we had volatility around the corner. I didn't care which way it came, but I I, I told you guys it was leaning towards. We were like, hey, uh, you know, like you're like hey, it makes sense to rise into FOMC and then that. Now in yesterday's setup, uh, I did say that, or in yesterday's video, I did say the four hour, and I think actually not this not in yesterday's video, but in yesterday's Weeble update, we were we got you know I made that at eight o'clock, so eight nine o'clock. So we got all the data for the day and we had our oscillators all the way up here. So I was saying now it's leaning towards like maybe we we're going to fall. But then you still have this divergence between your daily and four hour chart now. Um, and obviously, we still have the weekly chart up there. So, you know, but like seriously, guys, this really does uh, make all the cards align or all the stars align right now. This is kind of it's literally the perfect. It's the perfect gift given by the market gods. Now, Congrats to anybody who did start loading up Amar. So that's that's a little bonus today. I think I'll be up like 500 bucks on that. That's sexy. <laughs> All right. I'm really hyped to start loading Amar, guys. Like, this is what I'm talking about. And, like, this uh, this opportunity here, like, guys, learning how to play options. Someone someone mentioned this in the comments. And, like, I, I'm serious. I, I'm going to tell you straight up how options is. Options is going to improve your life. Many people look at options as gambling. I'm going to tell you right now, options shows you the reality of life all right anybody can make money off a contract all right anybody when you learn the game of options you then can play them on anything you go go into the real estate market you, you know how to play options all right like straight up it just teaches you a whole new level of everything all right and on top of that the biggest benefit from learning options is that you now need to learn how the market functions the market functions mainly off of options especially in this bear market okay like this whole uh, rally we're seeing like there, all right? Notice how it's declining volume? Well, that's the, because it's not being supported by buyers. It's being supported by the dealers hedging, all right? Um, or they're not hedging and they're just doing what they like need to do to squeeze out the puts. The put to call ratio, if you watch me, Kevin's uh, opening live stream today, he did end up mentioning that I didn't see this, but the put to call ratio went up to 2.0, uh, the highest level it's like ever been pretty much. Uh, no wonder, I called this out yesterday. I like it, like I was telling you guys that this does not end well. You being up 10% on the VIX and being up on SPY, all right? Like straight up it it's not going to end well and it's not going to be for it's not going to end well for put holders. It's not call holders because like oh, VIX is rising. No, it's going to be put holders, dude. The dealers don't want to pay these guys out. Like what the heck? This is so obvious. Um but then again, like a lot of TA is obvious and like I mean the trend lines and stuff I guess this is the obvious stuff that like does hit. Okay, these are the solid entries that are obvious. And then like when you see some stuff on VIX happening, you're just like, holy crap, it's so clear as day. Someone is going to get squeezed so hard. I didn't know for a fact people were going to get squeezed yesterday, but I told you guys how it really is. Like we had so much rocket fuel behind the move yesterday. All right, like straight up, any like positive number today from CPI would have caused a short squeeze. And that's what you're, see you're seeing right now. That's why VIX is plummeting. I don't know how these guys are... Uh, have access to contracts while market uh, is is uh, closed like this. Maybe they don't, right? Maybe there's something about Mr. VIX that I don't know. So I'm going to start looking into that. Why does VIX move in the morning if it moves off of uh, calls and puts being sold and bought? I don't know. I have no idea, actually, now that I think about it. Maybe they just have an edge over us, big money. I don't know. I'm going to be part of big money, guys. And this is why. This skill set is why. Do you guys see what I'm doing here? Like, I, I'm, I'm not even trying to, like... You know, I'm not trying to jerk myself off. I'm just trying to tell you guys, like, hey, guys, just watch the proof of concept. Like, it's actually mind-blowing. Like, anybody who's trying to complicate the game, just, like, return to my videos and just, like, return to that state of mind. Like, holy crap, this is all so easy. There's no reason to overcomplicate things. Oh, it's, like, it, like TA really does work out, like, as a big picture, all right? It all comes together like a big puzzle. Look where you are right now. What the heck, dude? You are right here. This could be setting up for a double top. We can end up running up, um, going uh, to, Q like I said, QQ's gap fill, 200 MA. Trend line, I think we are going to be topping out there. Um, but all in all, like I'm going to be loading the boat on puts, and it's strictly because, guys, the upside is it's limited here. What goes on, okay? I don't care what like that thing says. TA is suggesting some narrative switch is going to happen, and Powell is has been the one to deliver that narrative switch all of these times. All right, either it was CPI reports or Powell. All right, and I want to remind you guys 
did have, or was it? Oh, it was this day right here. CPI, all right? And then right around the corner, I think this was FOMC. Maybe it was FOMC. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know, okay? Uh, I don't have the best memory. Well, I'm not going to say I have the worst memory, uh, but I don't think anybody's going to remember this without looking. Um, but either way, guys, you see what I'm saying, okay? It doesn't matter if we just had this positive report. You had a positive print over here, and then you still fall, fell off a cliff. Now, we do have some catalysts that can act as dramatic cliffhangers, so I do think that is going to be taking place. That is unlike this. Um, but yeah, guys, as we go on in this bear market, it's probably just going to get more violent. That's why I say, guys, we're going to get a violent drop. And then we're going to play the squeeze. You guys think I'm going to miss out on the squeeze? You would have thought, guys. Like, yeah, the worst case scenario, I get to play TQQ strangles the whole way up and down. Like, even if I weren't to play the puts and calls, I would still have money printers going each month. So, that's fine. All right, guys. So, I think that is pretty much it. I just wanted to come on here and just, like, just affirm you guys, like, hey, guys, we just got the best possible entry on these puts. Like, straight up, we just got it. All right, we, we just got it. And just notice we're at highs here on DIA. This oscillator probably isn't going to be all the way up here. So you're probably going to form a bearish divergence. You're probably going to do the same on all the other indices. All right, you're going to have a high here and you're going to form a bearish divergence here on your CCI. I'm hyped, guys. I'm hyped. All right, guys. So with that being said, oh, by the way, you definitely 100% back tested your, uh, your rising wedge here. So, um, but you did end up coming back over it, which means like, hey, maybe we do end up uh, wicking up today and we end up topping today. But if not, I, I am, uh, I, I'm pretty confident in the fact that we're, well, not fact because it's not fact, but I'm pretty confident that we are going to um, be topping tomorrow with FOMC. So, all right, guys, with that being said, oh, gotta let you guys know, TQQQ FOMC strangle, so we just nailed the CPI strangle, which I, I told you guys, I broke down the numbers earlier, okay, you get 100% gain on one side, the other the other loss is covered, so you're at a 0% gain, all right, you get 200% gain on one side, now you're at a 50% gain on, like, all of your strangle capital, so you put $5,000 in, so 2.5k on both sides, that's something similar to what I got going on, um, I, like, uh, th it was yes, it was funny yesterday, guys. I like saw that one strangle went up. One side was up like twenty six percent, and the other was only down eighteen. I was like, no way! I'm already up, and the volatility didn't hit. Oh, I got to double down, so I opened up another strangle, and it was the twenty. I think it was twenty two, twenty one uh, puts. I don't remember. All right, it might be uh, it might be twenty two and twenty. I, I know I got twenty. 0.5 puts and 21.5 calls and then 22 calls in maybe they are 20 puts maybe they're, they're probably they probably got demolished maybe they were 21 puts i have no idea um i gotta look but either way guys they printed all right they printed and uh that is oh, i'm so happy guys i'm so happy it was another rep under the belt and another rep under the belt guys are printed <laughs> that's that's sexy um but yeah guys i'll be entering the fomc strangle right before fomc so it's gonna be like it's going to be like uh, anywhere from 10 minutes, five, we'll say five minutes. No, nah, we'll say 10 minutes to 30 minutes before FOMC. I'm going to be entering the FOMC strangle. That's because theta is a thing. These contracts are only going to have two days left on them by two o'clock tomorrow. They'll have like two days and two hours. All right. Theta is going to be a thing. So you don't want to buy them when they have like three days on them. And then you have a whole day go by and you have one third of the contract value going. No, there's no point in doing that. Both sides are going to get crushed by one third. There's no reason. So I'm going to get them right before, even though actually uh, this conflicting because uh, premiums are probably going to rise going into the event. I don't care. All right. Either way, that is what is going to work out for me. Um, I'm just going to keep doing this. All right, guys, there's no point in fixing something that ain't broke. And here's the thing that ain't broke. All right. I am. I'm hyped that TQQ did this, guys. I am so freaking hyped. I, I hope we come up here to 20. I hope we open up here at 25. We have, like, one last push for this last 23 minutes. Currently 9.07. Um, I do hope. But either way, I don't care. It's going to be up massively. So um, that's sexy. That's sexy, guys. Look at this. That's so sexy, dude. What the, what the heck is this, dude? What is this? You fell 10% in one candle, dude. One one three minute candle. That's a nice gap down right there. All right, guys. With that being said, I'll catch you guys next video. Peace.